so i wrote music during idols i wrote my entire album that i released first Uprising. i wrote all those songs no um the first album the, okay, the, the, the r&b yeah. album okay. i wrote that r&b album in the idols house during the idols show because i'd made up my mind because i didn't know when i'm going to leave so by the time I, if i leave the following weekend i also have a product that i can be ready to release you. so i went in strong knowing that mm -hmm. when i lose i'm coming out as a musician out of this your super bass performance do you think that was the defining moment for the competition <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> i think it was um again uh, how are you singing Nicki Minaj? <laughs> well look, <laughs> stranger things have happened <laughs> here we are i mean I, yeah. I i think that moment for me was the, one of the most scariest moments of my musical life mm -hmm. um having because i didn't have a reference for what i was doing mm -hmm. I, I, and I honestly thought that people would hate that thing. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, look at this pastor boy now. He can't even rap. Oh, come on. How oh, boring. He wants to R&B this. So I, I came in from a negative perspective. Yeah. But the energy in the room just mm -hmm. shifted. And, and also, because I'm a God person, that was, that was my time and chance. Yeah, and yeah. the window opened for so me. And I... You went through. I went through. One game, young game, instead of just being passive and mediocre in the, in the, in the season. I always tell some of my friends that are going, there's a, there's a young lady that's entering idols that I know very, very personal, who's worked very, very personal with me. Mm -hmm. And I told her, she said, should I go? Should I go? I'm like, don't go because you're asking me. And because you haven't made up yeah, your mind. Yeah, yeah. Make up your mind. Yeah. Are you the season 18 winner or are you not? Right. And if you've made up your mind in that context, then I'm ready to support you. So I'll mention three names or three titles, right? And then after mention of these names or titles, you must give me 15 to 30 seconds of what comes to mind. First one, Dogo Zumbambo. The most prolific worship singer that we have on the continent. I get that. I get that. Hands down. Yeah. Longevity, right? <laughs> Never mind. Depth. Depth. You know, Quality. understanding. Understanding. Of understanding how to steward the presence you know it's one thing being a singer it's another people it's another thing transforming people's lives through a song yeah, you know what i mean and yeah. i've there are songs that dogos has sung that have been defining moments for my life mm -hmm. um and they are a monument for me that whenever i hear it like one of the songs is when i remember what the lord has done mm -hmm. that song makes me cry every i avoid it <laughs> yeah, was... you know and it doesn't make me cry from an emotional context but mm -hmm. because it reminds me of a certain moment where that song took me out of yeah, and I can always point to it in Bongo Lungo Lunga. Um, oh, in Kosi. <laughs> 30 Ka seconds, remember. <laughs> Kaya, just, just be an example. Hectic. Try and be an example. Hectic, because you have to remove yourself from yourself in that sense yeah. and, and say if he were to emulate me in 20 years time would it be a good emulation nothing scares me more than that right because my son is not going to do what i tell him to do he's mm -hmm. only going to do what i'm doing what he sees that's you it. doing exactly Shit. oh that's my girl man um look when it comes to talent yeah and again the, this is subjective to whoever is listening uh -huh. but for me um she is one of my favorite worship singers um, from a personal favorite ever, ever, I, uh, ever. I think everybody who's behind the scenes here will is tired Ooh. of me and say, I but love yes. her. Um, I, I, and I, songwriter oh. of note, of note, yeah, of note. Yeah. I mean, she's her recent win with Motown is just listen. That was a long time. I knew about that deal for like over a year, now, yeah, that yeah, it was yeah. cooking and. T and to see it unfold the way that it uh, that it's done, she Crazy. deserves every single moment. She of definitely deserves it. When you look at when you look at the fact that I kept on saying um, end of twenty twenty, Claire has given us the best album across genres. Sure. And to for her to do that in a time where she couldn't use it to gig, she couldn't use it to maximize her profits, sure. should I say? Sure. And then for it to manifest in this deal was just for amazing. this was her window. Her window is open yeah. again and her door, and yeah. we. Um, I'm only grateful that I get to share this beautiful story with mm -hmm. her because it's just the beginning. You've, you've been friends forever because she, she was in Oasis, right? Yeah. Uh, when she was still in Durban. Sure. So it's just, I can imagine what it feels for you. Yeah, so when I left for, for, for the competition, she, she came in to direct Tourist. music at church. Oh, church, yeah. Yeah, she directed, she became musical director at church mm -hmm. for about eight years. So Whoa. she filled in my space. Wow. And every time I'd come back home and, and I'd be like, this girl is... Mm. And that would say, why it's too long? 
right? and to see her become more into contemporary contemporary worship yes. singer has has it's blown my head. Up. So as you know, you can't separate me from technology. I speak about technology on radio, in my content creation, everything I do. Um, one of my favorite segments is Tech Corner, and now I'm gonna go to my special box and gonna give Kaya something, and he must tell me what it reminds him of. Kaya, I have this special box. Okay. Right in my special box, there is a technical item as this is tick corner and i'm going to show you something and you're going to tell me what it means to you you're a very stylish person you like your technology <laughs> you like your fast things cars. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get my box sure let me get my box um and i think this i think you use this a lot because you're you're always in an airplane going somewhere you know exactly oh what this is. absolutely oh dude i live on that oh <laughs> that's my life right oh my goodness <laughs> How, how else do you survive without no, these No, I nowadays? can't. I absolutely cannot. Do you know that AirPods for me have become my life, right? And you're right. For yeah. me, when I'm on the aircraft, I'm listening to podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, I'm listening to sermons. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to audiobooks. So that's where, that's my one of my learning tools. You know, without it, I basically can't learn. It, it really is because you're able to immerse into your own world when you are with people or able to avoid people <laughs> you know what's tricky Sometimes about they're that off. <laughs> you know that's weird you know what's tricky for me yeah. so you know that it's got this noise cancellation thing yes. so i know that when i'm going into a public place i switch off noise cancellation okay because i know i'm going to be able to do it i yeah. can't be in the position where i'm going to be able to do it i can't be in the position so i'm so careful you actually said something that i'm extremely extremely yeah, careful yeah. about so we're nearing the end of our show a show sure. we're about to get there at the end very sad because I mean I'm with Kaya <laughs> <laughs> Um Kaya so um, it's called the final truth okay. I'm gonna ask something and I need I need a, an honest answer right um, in the backdrop of your music career is the celebrity element of being okay right? and that comes with a lot of public scrutiny that is sometimes very overwhelming right mm. um, 2019 your, 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 your personal intimate life was under a lot of scrutiny from the public, from the media, and a lot was being said about you. What was your source of strength and how much of it was actually true to the extent that it affected you? Um, look, I've been, in, I've been in the media space for over 12 years now mm -hmm. and I've, I've, learned, I've learned very, very important lessons that what is private must be private. Mm -hmm. And if it happens to come into the public um, domain, um, you know, it's important for us to always maintain a sense of privacy mm -hmm. in Pilozet. It's, it's, it's healthy, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? So there are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal um, that are between myself, my 